Hi guys, so I thought we'd have a look at just um, three items here. We've got first off the Porter Power Premium USB and DC Power Monitor. I've also purchased a Porter Power USB battery pack and I've got here an XTEC. It's the DB25 non-contact voltage stick. Um, we'll look at this one first, um, as you see there, 24 volts to 1000 or 100 to 1000. Um, basically, if you want to switch it to the 24, you press and hold that whilst using it. Um, you've also got a flashlight. It's not particularly brilliant. Um, overall, though, build quality seems pretty good. It's very sturdy. Um, it takes two AAA batteries, as you can see there. And it's going off at the camera, which it probably shouldn't do. And so that just slides back on like that. So yeah, I kind of, you know, one of these sort of things everyone should really have. The beeping's a bit annoying, it'd be useful if you could turn the beeping off, but you can't, so... Yeah, anyway, that's just a quick look at that one. So next up, we've got this Porter Pal Premium USB Plus DC Power Monitor. Great little device, very handy, you see there measures 0 to 50 volts, current 0 to 5 amps, and 250 watts maximum. Now basically, it's a very simple little device. Um, You've got on and off switch here, pause, reset, time power, and your test points there, and your barrel jack in the middle, which does your three wire measurements. Now, some accessories that it comes with USB cable to charge the device. It's got a claimed um, rating of about 20 hours, it's a version 2. Wire cable there for your USB power measurements. DC one there, power barrel jack one and you've got some little terminals there and you get some, some you know, cheap basic test leads with it as well now the usefulness of a device like this is if you've got things like these battery packs um, and you want to see um, if they actually do perform what they claim um, this battery pack is 10,200 uh, milliamp hours so I'm currently doing some testing on that um, at the moment um, and obviously this enables you basically you can plug this one into your battery pack like that. Plug that into the device. Turn the device on. Turn the battery pack on. And you can see there, so it's saying at the moment the voltage 5.1611. Um, and then if you plug your other device, like your smartphone, etc., into that port, then you can get your re readings um, on the amp hours, milliwatts, etc. If you press the time, it just switches over um, to how many watt hours you have got reset you've got a pause button which there isn't any indication on the screen if you have got it paused which is a little bit annoying um, as you can easily hit the pause button not realize you've done it and apart from the fact that if you got it there the clock will stop you don't know also charging you've got your battery indication there but when you've actually if you're charging with it on then it will keep the screen on which is useful for doing some measurements where you want the screen to be on because that's the problem with the backlight it sorry the backlight you can't manually switch it on apart from just switching between time and power and it come on for a few seconds and go off again it'd be nice if there's a way to sort of override it but if you've got it plugged in and charging you can then you will see that it is charging here however if you've got the device switched off when it is actually charging there's nothing to say it's charging there's no lights nothing like that so it'd be nice if they added something there that would be able to tell you if it is um, actually being charged or not, so you just have to plug it in and hope for the best. So yeah, useful little device, got to do some more testing on it, it seems quite good. It's got its own built-in battery, like I say, 20 hours um, claim battery life, and it doesn't um, actually draw anything from the, you know, from your source that you're plugging into it. It doesn't, it just powers itself, so you don't need to worry about getting um, slightly inaccurate readings. So a nice little device, um, £30 in the UK, very handy to have and I've uh, got to do some more playing around with that one. Now this battery pack, this is £20. I'm not sure if it's just been rebranded by Porter Pal because um, the build quality, this is very much slightly amateur looking um, device and build quality, this looks much more professional so I think it's probably been rebranded. As you see there, 10,200 milliamp hours. You've got on there, your input there for charging you got your output there at 2.1 amps and then you got this handy little built-in cable here which is clipped into the side 
like that you see so there you've got a one amp output there as well and then you can use this both you know to, to plug in connect your phone to that um, without having to carry extra cables plus of course you can then use it to um, to plug in there when you right, when, when you want to charge it um, some people have said that the charging cable is a bit small it is small um, I can't really see what they could have done about that apart from you know because say you push it in here and then it locks in place there unless they had a system where they had the cable running right round to that side um, then you could add a slightly longer one but overall I, you know you can always carry an extra cable it's just designed as a handy built-in cable to save you carrying too much when the unit's on you've got your LEDs here there's normally five that light up I think each one represents 25 percent of battery status left um, yeah that's about it apparently it can be charged sorry at the same time as you are um, using the device um, I haven't checked that it does also shut itself off as you can see there if there's nothing being drawn from it and the only problem I did find is I was charging one of my e-cigarettes and it was using such low amount of power when it was charging it that the actual battery pack kept turning off because it didn't think it was actually being needed but it was um, so that's a slight issue but with most other stuff like phones etc there's not really any kind of problem. Now like I said I've been doing some tests on this battery pack and um, it's going to take a while. Um, basically I've been trying to find a way of drawing the power off it um, relatively quickly but I haven't really got anything USB wise that uses a lot so I've just been using the Raspberry Pi and letting it power that. Um, I'm going to run five tests. The first test I've done from obviously the battery pack being fully charged up I got using the portal power monitor to measure the um, capacity output I got 6,328 milliamp hours. Just state in the instructions that um, you know you need to charge it and discharge it a few times to get its optimal um, performance so hopefully doing it five tests we should hopefully come to somewhere near the 10,200 rated capacity that it's got. But all in all good good battery pack because I have got another one which is a cheap little thing I bought off eBay which you can really tell the difference this has got some good weight to it and nice feel the other cheap one I've got feels light it's claimed 5000 milliamp hours but it's not anything like that and often you just plug the phone in and it would only charge you about 20% and then say it's flat so let's say lovely battery pack and that one is uh, 20 pounds and that um, voltage thing was about a tenner I got it off Amazon um, but yeah, useful things have wanted one of those for ages. So, so yeah, that's uh, that's it for this video. And um, I'll probably do a follow-up video when I finish doing the um, performance testing of this battery pack to see how um, well it does come to its claimed uh, milliamp hour rating. And um, possibly in the future, I'll do some more videos using the um, power monitor um, when I can find some more things that I want to test with it. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.